guys, welcome back for another episode of Doomsday Last Survivors. All right, so we do have a new update that's coming out or just came out. Um, let me see. It says there can be slight changes to the server reopening time depending on your progress. So I guess server five is coming out, guys. That's where I want to go. Um, you can check the notice board for the latest server status. Um, the game version will be updated after maintenance. Please update your game. Enjoy the latest features. Yadi yadi yadi. All right, so let me see. We're gonna get some gems, 150 of those, and then we'll get some speed ups, of course. Oh, we one, one hour speed up. Come on, man. Come on, come on, IGG. All right, so the Alliance event, Antipede Hunt is here. Um, stay away from the giant pit. That's the warning that the circulation or circulating among the shelter residents recently, or whatever. That's the warning. Um, many have witnessed a horrific scene of a giant shadow dragging survivors into the pit, causing widespread panic. Um, in the response, the Alliance has developed a special trap that targets monsters' weakness so they can lure it to the surface and destroy it. The Alliance must construct a seismic wa uh, wave trap to launch the event. The event lasts 30 minutes and needs to uh, cool down for seven days before it can be launched again. Um, the Alliance leader or and R4 officers may start the event instantly or schedule a time for the event and inform members to join the hunt. That sounds pretty cool. They can schedule it. Um, defeat Antipede during the event to receive an Antipede reward and unlock the next difficulty level. The Alliance can launch multiple rallies against Antipede. Uh, participating members will earn individual damage points and receive reward based on their points. Hidden caves will randomly appear around the seismic wave trap during the event period. Players can send scouts to investigate the caves and obtain rewards. Add the daily booster pack bundle deal so players can purchase the booster packs at once. Okay, fix bugs and improve player experience. All right, so they did a little bit there as far as the update goes and stuff like that. All right, so I need to definitely, I'm working on getting um, headquarters 23. And the reason why I need to do that, not just because I want to make my guys stronger, make my base stronger or anything like that. I want to make sure that I can do this exploration level. Because right now I'm at max for a level of 25 or 22. All right, so if I go 23, then of course I can get some more of these things here. And then it'd be more worth my while. Right now it's not. <laughs> it's like I'm doing it, but it could be better. But it's all good though. So definitely got to try to get these resources up. I may probably end up moving servers. I'm not really sure, but I see they're trying to do server five. So I kind of want to go to five, not necessarily four. I'll go to four, but I, I kind of want to go to five, get a fresh start. I may start another account. I don't even know, guys. Spam up the comments and let me know what you guys think I should do. What server are you guys playing on? Are you guys still playing this game? That's what I want to know. A lot of people are probably not playing anymore. Um, not saying that that's bad or anything like that, but I think a lot of people are just like, every time a server opens up, I see a lot of people starting to migrate off and go on to another one. And I understand why some people want to move, but some people are moving just to move, just because. All right, but let me know what your thoughts are. Do you think it's worth the move? Do you think it's worth the money to move? Let me know. I'm looking forward to hearing from you guys. See you on the next one. Peace.